Hey guys, welcome back. Keep watching to see how I achieve these beautiful passion twists. You do not want to miss this. Welcome back to my channel. This is Stephanie Nicole H. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you already haven't. So today's video is going to be sponsored by Janet Collection. They sent me some beautiful crochet passion twists to review. So first I just want to tell you all about the passion twists and um, give you some of the details on those and then we'll work our way into my braiding pattern. Um, so these are the passion twists that were sent to me is Janet Collection Nola Tress. And this is the three times passion twist and they are 18 inches long. They sent me the color 1B, five packs of the color 1B. And so here they are. And I really like this label that they included on the packaging, antivirus, special process for virus removal. Kind of need that nowadays. So these are the Passion Twist, 18 inches long. Not really sure how many come in each bag, but I'll note that in the description box below. So as far as my braiding pattern, I am not a braider whatsoever. So a friend of mine braided my hair. Her name is Mill. If you're in the St. Louis area, make sure you check out her Instagram. I'll link it in the description box below. She does sew-ins, braids, pretty much everything. So make sure you check her out. So to give you an up close look at my braiding pattern. So I don't know if you follow Beauty Kim Braid um, on YouTube and Instagram, but this braiding pattern probably looks familiar from her. I watched her videos and um, told my friend to imitate that. So basically my braids are braided up and I'll give you a full look around. And I wanted it done like this so that I can possibly put it up in a ponytail or a bun um, with some styling. So the middle braids are just braided to the back. And like I say, the sides and the back are braided up. And then everything pretty much meets in the middle. And then she just sold everything down so that it's flat. Hope you all can see that. So I'm really excited about this uh, crochet. Again, it's sponsored by Janet Collection. So let's just hop right in and start the install. So before I do my installation, I want to treat my scalp. I My scalp is really irritated with synthetic hair. So I picked up this Cantu, um, what is it? Shea butter is the apple cider vinegar root relief plus peppermint oil. And so it comes with a, a nozzle and the product is clear. It's not sticky whatsoever. And you can instantly feel a tingling sensation from the apple cider vinegar and the peppermint oil. So I'm just gonna go around my head and um, apply this to my parting. And now I'm just going to rub that into my scalp. And I picked this up from my local beauty supply. It was um, $6.99. And I don't know if you can see with my parting, it's kind of zigzag. I want to give the effect of individual crochets. So everything is good to go. So I'm going to start installing 
with my crochet needle and um, my passion twist. So stay tuned. So these twists have a loop at the top and are twisted all the way down. So I'm just gonna start at the back of my head and um, space those out because um, these twists will fill in pretty quickly. So I wanna give myself a little space in between uh, each of the crochet. So I'm just gonna go around the back of my head and install those crochets. So I'm just putting my crochet needle under my braid, starting at the very beginning of my braid, and then looping that in, and then just um, pulling the end of the twist through the loop. So I'm just working my way up my head, and again, just spacing those out. You can always go back in once you're done to fill in any gaps uh, if you feel like uh, there are some spaces in between that need to be filled in, but just for the time being, for the initial install, just make sure that you space them out. So now to the part of my hair where all of my braids meet in the middle. And so I'm taking my crochet needle and putting it through the braid instead of under the braids and um, just pulling the end of the twist through that loop. And I'm just doing that all over this bulky spot. I'm only working with one mirror in this room, so I'm just feeling the back of my head to make sure that I'm putting the crochet where it needs to be. So now that I'm towards the front of my hair, I'm doing that same process. I'm putting that crochet needle through um, right at the very beginning of my braid, so right by my edges, so that it looks natural when I pull it back in a ponytail. And I'm also spacing these out in the front as well, just so that it's not too bulky and I can always go back in and fill in any gaps. So as you can see with just the back of my hair done and one side, it's already filling in pretty nicely. So even if you do overpack the hair and put them too closely together, these are pretty easy to take out. All you do is pull on that loop at the base of your braid and then just pull um, the end of the twist through it. So now I'm at the top of my head and I'm almost done. And I absolutely love this length. It's not too long and not too short. 18 inches was perfect. I would probably say this is the easiest crochet that I have ever installed. That loop is so easy to work with because you can spread it out however far you need to to get the end of the twist through it. And then once you release it, it just curls right back up. All right guys, so I'm on the last two braids to crochet now. And around my edges, I did put them a little closer together than I did in the back just to fill them in and look more natural. Okay, very last twist. So I wanna show you all what it looks like from all angles if I was to pull it up in a ponytail or a bun. And here's where I noticed one of my braids was still naked. So I have to go ahead and install a couple more twists right there in the front.
And so I'm all done. So the full crochet process took about an hour. So no time at all. Okay guys, so I am all done with my install and here is the final results. So I used almost four packs of hair. So I did not use the entire five packs. What I will say is to beware because this hair fills in super, super fast. Um, as you can see, it's very full. And this is only about three and a half packs of hair. Yep, three and a half packs because I still have a pack and a half left. So this is it. It is very light, extremely light. Um, I don't know, it's giving me kind of Jamaica vibes or something. Um, but yeah, this is it. And again, this is sponsored by Janet Collection in their Nola Tress three times um, passion choice. And if you would like to purchase this hair, I believe it runs about $15 a bag. I saw it on um, hairstoppingshop.com. And um, so again, this is 18 inches, comes down to about here. They stretch extremely long, but yes. And I may go back in and fill in some of the gaps towards the front of my head, just to make sure that everything is full and my braids are covered. But as far as three and a half bags of hair, this is so full. And I wanna give you all another look at the um, individual twist. So it comes with the loop at the top and then it's twisted all the way down to that curly end. So it reminds me of like um, free chest water wave at the end, which is what I used to do um, individual crochet uh, passion twists. But yes, Janet Collection, this is a win for sure. And it's the perfect length, it's not too long because in this summer heat, we don't need all of that length anyway. And I will probably come back um, in about a week, maybe less to do a, um, a styling video of different styles that I can do with this hair. So I wanna give myself some time to get used to it and fill it out first before I do all of that. And I did put um, some edge control around my edges. And as always, I use my Style Factor Edge Booster. As far as this Cantu uh, root relief, go pick this up immediately, especially if you your scalp gets irritated from synthetic hair or if your braids are too tight or um, yeah, if you just get irritated in your scalp when you have protective styles, go ahead and pick this up immediately because it will give you relief as soon as you put it on your scalp. I don't know how I've even gone this long without it. <laughs> but um, here is what it looks like. And they give you a nice amount of product in here. This is eight ounces of product and you only need a little bit between your braids and you are good to go. So I will probably um, apply this to my scalp maybe once a week or so, maybe more, you know, if I'm feeling itchy, but this is bomb.com. Go pick this up now. <laughs> also with my shirt, um, I use the Tulip tie-dye kit. It's a two minute tie-dye. So it relieves the eight hours of having your clothes sit with that dye on it. All you do is pop it in the microwave and it will dye your clothes within two minutes and leave these vibrant results. I do have a review on their kit on my page. I'm going to leave that down in the description box below as well. And you get to see my adorable daughter. Um, I did some matching outfits for me and her. And um, this one was not done on camera, but I did it after the fact. Uh, but the two other ones that I did came out amazing. So check that out. Um, but this is it. Tell me what you all think. 
And usually I get a number one in um, hair, but this 1B is like extremely dark, if you can see. So tell me what you think down in the comments, like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I will see you all next time. Yeah.